Hi, my name is Sondi. Happy New Year and welcome to 2021. So, in this video, I'll be talking about ready to sit at the NASA suspension if you don't renew your EZ. So, from January 2021, if you don't renew your EZ or update your EZ, the government is going to suspend the payment of your ready to sit at the NASA. So it says basic income by 15th January 2021 to prevent aims from suspending the payment. It is necessary to renew your EZ. To prevent aims, if you don't want aims to suspend it, it is necessary, important for you to renew your EZ. Now, before we dive deep into it, if you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell so that whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Now, let's get started. It says, EZ 2021 Renewal. One of the basic requirements for benefiting from citizenship income is to have an updated EZ. One of the basic requirements, one of important requirements for you to keep on having the payment of your ready to sit at the NASA is for you to update or renew your EZ. They say it is therefore essential to pay attention to the expiring of the EZ to avoid that in suspense the payment. So for those ones that are not paying attention to their EZ, those ones who are new in the system who don't know what it means or how to go about it, they just fell into it and do the application for Ready to Sit at the So the thing is this, every year you need to renew your EZ. EZ valid from the day you do it since 31st of every year, 31st December of every year. So that is when it expires. So after that, from January again, you need to renew it again or update it again. So it says the EZDSU, which is Declarazione Sostitutiva Unico, is valid until 31st December of the year in which it was submitted. So your EZ is valid from the very period you applied for it since 31st December of every year. So, meaning in 31st December of 2020, the EZ you were holding then has expired. Now, you need to do another fresh one. It says from 1st January 2021, therefore, it will be possible to renew the calculation of the EZ. It will be possible for you to renew or update your EZ, which has become indispensable, which has become something you cannot do without in order to assess many benefits, bonuses, and subsidies. In this 2021 we just enter, there are going to be many benefits, there are going to be many subsidies, there are going to be many bonuses. So without easy, you cannot do anything. It is indispensable in acquiring all these benefits, in applying for all these benefits. It is something you cannot do without. So that is the more reason you need to renew it or update it. So it says the decree number 4 slash 2019, then converted into law 26 slash 2019, which introduced the income and citizenship pension, provides for the suspension of the payments of this benefit in the absence, in the absence of updated EZ. Meaning, if your EZ is not updated, if your EZ is not renewed, that decree has provided that they can suspend the payment of your citizenship income. So that is what they are saying. It says, therefore, by 31st January 2021, the beneficiaries of the income and the citizenship pension, in order to continue to enjoy the benefit without interruption, in order for you to continue enjoying the 800 euro. 700 euro, 600 that will be paying you your citizenship income in order for you to continue enjoying the benefit without stop, without suspension, without interruption. We have to update the EZ, we have to renew or update your EZ. Once the EZ 2021 has been submitted, once you submit it or you've renewed it, say then, IMS will verify the permanence 
of the incomes requirement and the beneficiaries will be able to enjoy the subsidy the benefits until the natural expiring date without having to submit a new application until your is expired again then this they are saying that without having to submit new application so some people don't understand some will be asking so do i need to go and apply again for my ready to sit at the nasa to go and renew no you don't renew that you don't apply for it again it's just your is that you need to renew or updates after you have done that automatically it will be sent to ins from where you did it like in calf or cga it will be sent to ins automatically or electronically then ins will have to make justice to it after they have cross-checked everything and continue paying you your citizenship income so you don't need to go and apply again for another citizenship income no already to shitadinaza you don't need to go and do another application it's just your easy you need to do the ins we got to know about it wherever you've done it so that is what they are saying also let me stress more talk more concerning the updating so for instance in 2020 you were two just you and your husband you did the ready to sit at the nasa and they are paying you 500 or 600 or 700 and now in 2021 you have given birth or you gave birth in december 2020 making it three so you need to update your easy to add your newborn baby to read so that the money will increase that they will be paying you your ready to sit at the nasa so that is how you need to update it if for instance in january now you're also going to renew or update it after updating or renew it then let's say in march or in june 2021 you had to your family by giving birth again so you also need to redo it again you don't need to waste in january next year no then you can renew your easy you go and do it again add the baby to raise so that the money will also increase so that is how the updates easy so for those ones who don't know where to go or how to renew their easy you can go to cgl or calf you can go to calf and renew or update your easy so after updating as i've said they will send electronically to him so you don't need to do another application for citizenship income Ins will receive it electronically and then they will continue the payment they have been giving to you. So you can go to CGL or CAF to do or renew your easy. So for those ones who are just new in the system, you are hearing it now for the very first time concerning Ready to Citadinaza. So Ready to Citadinaza is a payment citizenship income given to people that don't have job or that don't have any means of income. So according to law, they said you must at least live in Italy for 10 years. So that is what they said before you can apply for it. Those ones having Qatar Sojourner, those ones having Azillo subsidiary and all that, you can apply for it as well. So that is what they have said. So after applying for it, it will communicate to you if they accept it or not. So if they accept it, they will send you another message for you to go to the nearest post office to collect the yellow card of which will be paying you for you to take care of yourself and your family so if you want to do it as well you can go to cgl or CAF to apply for it as well so thank you for watching thank you for listening please like comment and also share it to others as well especially those ones who have done to Chitadinaza so that they will know what to do about renewing their easy that ins will not suspend their payment so as i've said if you know you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell that whenever i upload any new videos or information you will know thank you and god bless you and once more happy new year to you and your lovely family bye